Good morning. I'm Jan Carabao with your morning digital news brief for Sunday, September 5th. The Made in America Festival is underway. The two day festival kicked off yesterday afternoon. It's now in its 10th year. It was canceled though last year because of the pandemic. Anyone attending is required to provide proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test within 48 hours of entry. Masks are also encouraged for everyone. Proceeds will benefit the ACLU of Pennsylvania and the Reform Alliance. The gates open today at noon. Just a few days after Ida's remnants left destruction throughout the Philadelphia region, the Vine Street Expressway has reopened. That road fully reopened last night. But there will be a right lane closure for several weeks westbound from 18th Street to just past 22nd Street for pump station repair. That pump went offline, paralyzing recovery efforts. And a man is fighting for his life today after he was shot in Philadelphia's Fair Hill neighborhood. That shooting happened around 3 o'clock this morning at North Lawrence Street and West Indiana Avenue. The victim was taken to the hospital, but no word yet on that victim's condition. No arrests have been made. Now to the eyewitness for the forecast with meteorologist Kate Bilo. Hi, Kate. Hi there, Jan. Well, we are headed through the rest of the holiday weekend on a pretty quiet note, although we are tracking the chance for a couple of showers outside later Sunday into Monday. 79 degrees the high today. Scattered clouds and a couple of showers, mainly north and west during the day. Then overnight, we'll see showers redevelop near the city and head through the shore points. The shore may even start Labor Day Monday with a shower, but otherwise, the sun returns throughout the day. Rosh Hashanah begins at sundown, a nice mild start to the new year there. 82 degrees on Tuesday, sunny and warm. Our next cold front passage is Wednesday. Sunshine early in the day, then late day thunderstorms. Behind that cold front, a gorgeous stretch of weather starts Thursday and looks like it'll last us right through next weekend. Jan, back over to you. Yeah, looking good. Okay, Kate, thanks so much. And remember, you can always get the latest news and weather headlines right here on CBSPhilly.com. I'm Jan Carabeo. Have a great day.